is Ulf Janusson with Emerson. I'm going to share some information about uh, a new solution we have for uh, monitoring of uh, floating roof in uh, external floating roof tanks. Floating roof tanks are uh, commonly used in both refineries and, and terminals. Uh, they have great advantages in terms of sort of size and uh, reducing the, the vapor space. But by that design, they also introduce some uh, potential risks and, and potential problems. Uh, we need to keep track of that the, the drain is working as it should. Uh, the more strict requirement on rim seals, uh, reducing the vapor leaks may, could mean that the uh, roof is seeing more friction, it's not moving up and down as freely as it should. Uh, there could be some issues with the pontoons, we can have wind situations and, 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 and other issues. In the past, we had to uh, sort of monitor the tanks by, by visual inspection, going up and take a look what's going on. And with today's safety drives, we want to keep people off the tanks. So we need an automated uh, remote solution to, to monitoring what's going on in a more proactive way. So we have uh, introduced uh, two different ways of doing this. One is using a non-contacting or a free spray radar installed on top of the tank shell, measuring the distance down to the pontoon or the floating deck. We're using three different radars, free space radars, doing this in three locations. We can then monitor or measure that the roof in three different positions is following the surface up and down as it should. We compare those three readings with the actual level reading. We can then see that it's, it's moving up and down as it should and by the three points we can detect if there is any risk or tilt situation going on. The other way or the other solution is that we install free guided wave radars on the floating roof itself. So it's a battery powered wireless communication device that sits on the floating roof measuring the distance between the floating roof and the liquid, measuring the, the, the airspace in between. So by those free units we can see the same if there is a buoyancy uh, change. It will be a, a longer or a shorter distance between the pontoon and the liquid. If there is a tilt situation, they will show uh, different readings. Uh, all that we need to bring back to the control room, so we can do that wirelessly using the guided wave radars on the, on the roof or with a wired installation with the free space radars, going back through data collection uh, systems into the tank gauging inventory platform. In the, in the TankMaster software then we have a special floating roof or floating roof monitoring screen where we can then see all, all is good and healthy, Ro no roof tilt, no uh, buoyancy problems or no drain issues. Or if in, uh, we have some kind of situation going on then we get a sort of alarm alert that we have some kind of problem with the roof tilt, with the buoyancy or potential issues with, with the drain sump. By this, we have a, a solution to uh, proactively uh, monitor what's going on with our floating roof tanks to uh, prevent issues in an early, early stage. Thank you.